Today I'm here to show you a small haul, but I did order some things on the CVS.com website which were not available in the store. So um, a couple of them are pretty interesting things that um, I discovered and wanted to share with you guys. So let me get started. Okay, the first thing that I have is the uh, Kiss brand false premium eyelashes. Now, you guys know that um, I've demonstrated how to apply false eyelashes in a previous video, but for these, you're just going to be so excited if you've never tried false lashes before because it can be difficult to apply. And those who do it constantly and know how to do it and do it often make it look like it's easy peasy and it's not. So I found these. They're um, called Kiss brand. These are actually 03, so they come in different styles and sizes. But you'll see that there is an applicator string. So there's a string that goes through the false lash. You hold the lash at the two ends of the string. You apply it to your lashes and then you pull the string out. I mean, you have to be a genius to have come up with this idea because everybody knows like sticking tweezers near your eye or needles and things like that is not a good idea. But also trying to make these look like they're natural and not false is kind of tricky. So I actually bought two packs. <laughs> yes, I have now six pairs of false lashes. But um, I love how they look. Um, if you're ever going to get photographed, if you're doing portraits, if you're doing, um, you know, pictures for a family reunion, portraits at a portrait studio, family photographs, uh, you know, those little thumbnails they take for your job if you're displaying your photo on a website, I highly recommend that you wear false lashes. And that's because when the camera is on you and the lights are on you, your lashes can tend to disappear. That's why actresses and um, you know people on camera, news anchors and whatnot, they always wear the false lashes. So that's why I got them. So when I, you know, I'm wearing them right now. They're not this brand, but if I get up close, <laughs> uh, you can see that I've got falsies on. And it probably just looks like, because I tried to get the natural ones, that I just have long lashes, right? So um, these were $2.79 for each pair and I got six pairs. Okay, now the next one is a Wet n Wild palette of eyeshadow in the color Comfort Zone. And I've just heard this talked about quite a bit on YouTube. I love the colors. Um, I obviously haven't opened it yet, but it was $3.49 for eight shadows okay and i heard through other people on youtube that these are highly pigmented they're just as good as some of the high-end shadows i'm trying to get it open so i can open the palette and kind of show you guys um, and there are several different color combinations so comfort zone is just one of the many palettes that they have and um, it just seems like this is a good bargain and that the colors are really nice. I think that another one that was available was sort of purples and plums. Um, and I can't recall if they were mattes or shimmer. But um, this is the palette open. I hope that's a good focused shot. It even tells you on the shadow. Um, whoops. Comes with a brush because it just fell out. It's got a duo. Du dual end brush where one is the foam tip and one tip is a angled or beveled brush tip. So um, it tells you on there what you can use the shadows for and um, but you don't have to. I sometimes will use a highlight shadow which normally goes under the brow. I'll use it on the lid. You know it just all depends. So. Um, I'm going to try this and I will certainly let you know if I like it. I've also heard about the Rimmel uh, Waterproof Eyeliner Pencils. Rimmel London is the brand and I got the color Sable. This was $4.54 and 
and I'll just um, swatch it here for you. It's a very cool liner, and um, I love that it goes on smoothly. It feels very creamy, and then on the other end of the pencil, oops, <laughs> is a sharpener, and uh, a sharpener inside. So you take this out. There's the sharpener, but also there's a foam tip here to blend that liner out. And I'm doing this upside down, so just bear with me. But you get the idea. It certainly is a nice creamy consistency, and it's waterproof. So thought I would give that a try. Then I also wanted to try what was recommended on another YouTube channel is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in 892, which is Amber Rush. And it comes in a little pot. And uh, it's just, it looks like a rose gold. So it is a shimmer, metallic color. And um, here's what that looks like. And I, I just really am... <laughs> I've always been drawn to rose gold, as you all know about me if you've been a subscriber. Um, but this one just spoke to me. And look how pigmented that is. I just put, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm highly surprised. I just put a tad, I just dabbed my finger in there and look how pigmented it is. So it looks like a color or a extreme shimmer. Very pretty, wow. I'm interested in trying that. Um, and I don't recommend if you're older as I am that you put these shimmer colors in the crease. So I would probably, I'm going to use this as a lid color on the lid. So if you're older or your eyelids are kind of crepey and you use it in the crease, it can just make them look more saggy than they are. So speaking of being older, <sighs> My next two products are because I'm feeling older. And I know it's winter, it was nearly 60 degrees today. Today is, oh, December 18th. And um, I was fine, but I do live in Georgia in the hot, humid, southeastern United States. And in the summertime, it is sweltering hot. So, and I'm, I'm just saying, I'm gonna preface what I'm gonna show you with that. So I got these ultra soft cooling towelettes. Now Chris laughs at me because he thinks I'm being silly. I will tell you, if you're a mature female, I don't have to tell you, but um, I think these are gonna work. It says release heat, um, the quick chill is <laughs> what it's called. And um, it's citrus ice. And I'm thinking I can put these in like my little walking pharmacy on those moments or those days when I'm just sweltering hot. Comes in little packets and let me see, 12 of them. And um, it's got witch hazel in it and other lemon peel, red clover, St. John's wort, those kinds of things. So you just remove it. It says um, shake it lightly, then press it on the back of your neck, the inner arms, the back of your knees for several seconds to allow the herbal infusion to fully penetrate and build the chill. I like that. To reactivate the cool, splash a little water on the skin where you used the towelette. So um, I'm really thinking that I'm gonna like these come midsummer. It's never too early to get prepared and I, I love having my little um, um, toiletry kits. I have one in the car. I keep one with some smaller things in my purse because I don't like to have a heavy purse. The next item is along the same lines. <laughs> I'm going to try these. I promise you I will tell you if they work. This one is called Cool Flash for the Hot Flash. Yeah. <laughs> it is a cream and it's a, a fast cooling comfort for hot flashes. Over 80 applications. Safe and gentle cosmetic topical gel. No hormones. No estrogen. Doctor approved. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking it's gonna be tried, definitely. Um, and you know, I'm thinking if these were true hot flashes, that I would be having them during the winter. Um, but I'm not, so 
I'm not sure what's going on, but I do believe that that is something that will cool me off regardless of what the cause is. Um, doctors have been telling me I'm too young for perimenopause, but I don't know. I'm willing to try anything to cool down because when it strikes, it's like extremely hot from inside. It's not like, I mean, I could have the air conditioner on full blast in the car and I still won't get cooled down. So that is my CVS haul. Um, if you're a young adult or a young female, sorry if this didn't pertain to you, but maybe recommend it to your aunt or something. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Short, but to the point and Join me again for another video haul. I think I'm going to film next what's in my fortune cookie soapbox. So I will see you guys later. Bye.